Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about electrocardiogram that is ECG or EKG so basically what is ECG ECG is actually graphical presentation of algebraic sum of electrical activities of heart so before going into detail of the ECG first we should discuss about action potential in the cardiomyocyte side or how action potential is moving from one cardiomyocyte side to another cardiomyocyte. side so here I am drawing heart let's suppose this is our heart and uh, okay let me draw this somewhat bigger So this is our heart and as you know this is left atrium, this is left ventricle, this is right ventricle and this is right atrium and uh, here we have SA node and uh, here we have AV node which is continuing into the bundle of his which is continuing into the right and left bundle fibers which is continuing into the Purkinje system right right side also near the Purkinje system and I'm taking one cardiomyocyte from this heart and I will magnify that and I will try to show you how action potential is moving inside the cardiomyocyte. site so let me rub this diagram and so that I can draw this more clearly cardiomyocyte. site that cardiomyocyte site I am magnifying here and I am drawing here one cardiomyocyte. I will take even two cardiomyocytes so that I can clearly show you how action potential is moving from one cardiomyocyte to another. But first, I will show you how action potential is moving inside this cardiomyocyte. So, let's suppose initially our this cardiomyocyte is at resting position, and uh, this cardiomyocyte has resting membrane potential minus 90 millivolt usually the cardiomyocyte is electronegative in nature so its resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt but as soon as some stimulation comes over to this cardiomyocyte that means introduction of some cations to this cardiomyocyte it will lead to it will lead its resting membrane potential to the threshold potential it will lead its resting membrane potential to the threshold potential let me draw this cell will gradually start losing its polarity let's suppose here it's minus 80 here it's minus 70 but as as this cardiomyocyte reaches up to the minus 70 millivolt that is its threshold potential voltage gated sodium channels will become activated and now they will leak sodium ions heavily into this cardiomyocyte there will be heavy influx of sodium ions into the cardiomyocyte and which will cause fast depuration 
into this cell. Let's suppose it's minus 60, here is minus 50. Rapidly it will lose its polarity, here it's minus 10, 0, plus 10. It will somewhat overshoot also. So, as soon as this cardiomyocyte is undergoing depolarization, what is gated? Potassium channels which are spreading over this membrane of cardiomyocyte they will become activated and they will cause efflux of potassium ions. So there will be some more repolarization but as soon as potassium ions are going outside as soon as the potassium ions are going outside what is gated? Calcium channels will become activated And they will start an influx of calcium ions inside the cardiomyocyte. So here will be the balancing condition of the polarity inside this cardiomyocyte because cations outside the cardiomyocyte and cations inside the cardiomyocyte will be somewhat equal. So here we have the graph like this. This is because of calcium and this is because of this one will be because of potassium. So this phase, this phase we call it as plateau phase because the number of cations outside and number of cations inside the, this cardiomyocyte will be in somewhat equilibrium position. So graph will goes like that and this phase we call it as plateau phase. But as time passes by, what is gated calcium channels will start blocking and what is gated potassium ion will become more and more active so there will be heavy flux of potassium ions outside the cardiomyocyte so this cell will undergo repolarization and will back to its resting membrane potential which mean which means that this cardiomyocyte is again in its resting position and now let me tell you how the action potential how this action potential is moving from this cardiomyocyte to the adjacent cardiomyocyte and so on. Actually, we have electrical windows between the, these two cardiomyocytes. These electrical windows are actually gap junctions which will help to introduce the cations from one cardiomyocyte to the another cardiomyocytes. They will introduce some cations into another cardiomyocyte which will lead its resting membrane potential which was minus 90 millivolt like this cardiomyocyte. It will lead its resting membrane potential to the threshold potential. Again we have here minus 80, minus 70 but whenever it reaches up to the minus 70 millivolt, there will be activation of sodium voltage gated sodium channels and there will be heavy influx of sodium ions which will cause fast depolarization of fast depolarization of this cardiomyocyte. As soon as depolarization is going on inside the this cardiomyocyte, voltage gated potassium channels will open and there will be flux of potassium ions but as there will be some water deposition as potassium ions start going outside there will be activation of what is gated calcium channels like I told you in this cardiomyocyte and it will cause influx of the calcium ions so the graph will go like that because there is equilibrium position because the number of cations outside and inside the cardiomyocytes are somewhat equal. So here we have plateau phase and as time passes by, as I told you, as time passes by, calcium channels will start blocking and potassium channels will become more and more active. So potassium, channel, potassium ions will go outside the cardiomyocyte more rapidly, more quickly. So this cardiomyocyte also will undergo repolarization and back to its resting position. So
So I hope this concept is clear now that how action potential is moving inside the cardiomyocyte and how action potential is moving from one cardiomyocyte to another one and this process will repeat it again and again to the cardiomyocyte to the adjacent cardiomyocyte to the adjacent cardi cardiomyocytes and like that so let me summarize this action potential that basically what is what we tell you in this topic let me drop this So, firstly, our cardiomyocyte was resting and it had the resting magnet potential minus 90 millivolt which was. So, whenever it will get stimulation, whenever it will get stimulated, the cell will undergo depolarization. Cell will undergo depolarization. And as depolarization is going on, after that, petty phase will come, as I told you, because of equilibrium of polarity, equilibrium of ions inside and outside the cardiomyocyte. We will got the we will get the plateau phase after which cardiomyocyte will undergo repolarization. So from here up to here we call this process as action potential what we call this action potential so I hope that you enjoyed this topic and uh, you have a clear concept now about uh, action potential in the cardiomyocyte in next video I will discuss about the graphical presentation that how these electrical activities in the heart will lead to the graphical presentation. So, see you in next video. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.